I'm doing right now, and I'm only going to tell you what I'm doing, that's all I can tell you. I've got this little square going in here, and this is being cased off, because now I'm closing the cabin and making the trunk. So the trunk is going to be closed off from the car. Um, this is going to be sheathed. I got some, I got some Bristol board in there. I might do some sheathing here, make some patterns. This is going to be sheathed off in here, all the way in like this. Or anything, windows come in here. It's going to be sheathed off, right around into there, all the way back, flat. And so there's going to be sheathed off. It's going to make patterns for it. I'm going to make a pattern to sheathe this off. Oh, hurt my rib. Fell down. Fell on this square console. Who'd ever build a square console? <laughs> Anyways, I'll hurt my rib, that hurt. Anyways, I square that off. I'm gonna close that in down there. I'm gonna cut a piece of metal and fill that in there. Piece of metal, fill that in down there. I didn't have enough square tubing or I would have probably showed you what I was doing at the time. The square tube, I'm gonna make a door. It goes on here, there's a door. It's got a pin go here and a pin go here. I don't know exactly. I can just take pictures. Jolene shows me pictures and I can just go by that. And after I shows me the picture, I sort of go for it, right? Uh, I'm thinking and we're going to put a hinge here, a hinge here, a pin, like a pin draw pin there. So that when, when you want to get to the trunk, you'd open the door down. And, and I was telling her tonight, the only way that she's going to get into the trunk of the car if the seats come out of the car. So when the, when the seats come in the car, this, this trunk part is not going to work. Um, I've thought it over many times. I, am, I don't want to build a seat that goes forward far enough that that can be pulled down. That would put the seat underneath the dash and I'm not interested in trying to make that perform that trick. Um, the seat is going to go in where it fits and probably the farthest back it can go. Um, we, we all have to just take it in perspective. This car is only so big. <laughs> and as I'm building it, I'm, I'm building it on the fly. And I'm, that's what I do with every car. I build it on the fly. Uh, I think someone said I should take some more time and write it down on paper. Well, I build cars in months, not years. <laughs> I'm not interested in, in, in doing it that way. Um, that doesn't interest me at all. I'd rather build a car in four, five, six months and, and then get rid of it, you know. Um, this car here, I'm trying to show my process. And out of it, I hope people take what they want to take out of it. And if you like it, you like it. You don't, you don't. That's fine. But um, we all have to. I, I want to build the car as quick as possible. That's why I run like I do when I'm due. I, we're, we film it. So when we're filming, I want to make sure I'm doing something. Uh, but anyways, as I have this squared off in here, we, there's a lot of talk about the gas tank. As I talk about the back is being closed off, that means... If the gas tank is right there, which it is, just laying there, down inside there. If it's down in there, that means it's in the trunk. If it's sitting up on back of here, that means it's in the trunk because there's going to be a door here. You can say whatever you want to say, if it's safe or where I should have, where I should not have it. But for me, to mount it down inside there, laying on its, on, its, on its face or on its side, seems like a difficult thing to do when it's still in the trunk. If I put it up here, it's still in the trunk. When I put it out through there and I have it up here, it's much easier. Why would I want to make myself work hard and put it down there and come to the car? Why do I want to do that? When... Someone says, well, you have to have it underneath the car. Well, no, I don't. If we, we just bought a Jaguar and the, both gas tanks were in the trunk. 67 Chev had it behind the seat. Model A had it up between up in front of your face. I really feel that, um, you know, this car is being built on the fly. I do not think that it's necessary that I go through all the work that it goes to the body, goes to the trunk, then goes to the, to the frame and bolts on the side of the frame and then I can't get a, a fuel sending unit to fit it to make it work. And, and, and plus, take me you know, a day or two to get it figured out how to get all the way down through there and get it down to the frame. Um, the way I'm doing it, I'm just making it sit in the trunk like Jaguar does and I'm going right there where it's the easiest place. If I mount it down in there, still in the trunk, and then I have twice the job to mount it, you know? When, I, when I'm building things, 
I build it the easiest, easiest way possible. And the easiest way possible is for this gas tank to be sitting up on the top of this where it bolts and it's easy for me to get at. And it's easy for me to hook it up. I made it so it goes down through the bottom, goes to the floor there. I'm gonna go right through there and just whatever, put it through there. But as it's as I put it in here right, right now, it's in the trunk. Because I'm gonna close this off. It was if it was down in there, it's in the trunk. Jaguar nowadays has it in the trunk. I can't, I can't express it enough that um, the way I'm doing it, um, I figure it's okay. I'm not putting the gas tank in the car if I think it's gonna leak. <laughs> not gonna do that. No, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't leak. You know, that Jaguar wouldn't build a car and sell it to you and have the gas tank leaking in it. When we talk about the, the material that we use to build a gas tank, motorcycles, they build them every day on, on TV, roll them on the, on the thing with, with, you know, with metal to, to blow up a gas tank. I just feel that, you know, um, it holds you back if you do not allow yourself to build it the quickest and the easiest way. Um, we're not doing no races, no rallies. Um, there was a guy saying something about the gas tank is going to rip off and whatever and stuff like that. Well, I agree with him on the part that if I just bolted it there, yes, it would after a while, you know, it probably would have a little strain on it. It would take a long time, I bet you. But I'm not quite done yet. As I know, it would be top heavy. I would nice have a nice little bracket I could weld right there and I could bolt it so it wouldn't move. That's what I would do. And if we really stop and think about it, if you had an employee and you said put a gas tank in the trunk of that car and hook it up and if they did it in three hours and they come back and said I got that done with what would you, now would you like me to do I bet you'd be some happy <laughs> I bet you'd be some happy um, yeah so as I'm as I'm doing it I'm taking everything in consideration and the reason I'm taking it in consideration is because Jolene is talking to me about it I have to explain to her and tell her why and why I think and why I think not. Um, I think that if something bad happened, you're going to get a gas smell and you're going to have to replace something, you know, that's, that's generally what happens, you know. Um, you know, if I want to spend, uh, you know, a long, 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 long time figuring everything out before I go for it, she might never get a car. I want, I want, I want to build a bunch of cars, man. I, I, there's no, there's no one car show here. If you know what I'm saying, I want to build a bunch of cars. I would rather like to move on from this as just as quickly, quickly as possible, and then I can get on to the next one. But as I put the gas tank in the trunk, you must ask yourself. Does it matter? <laughs> Jaguar does. And I bet you there's a lot more. Mustang did. You know, they had the exact same thing. Gas tank in the trunk. 64, 65, 69. People just love them things. And you're, and you're going to tear me down because I'm going to put her gas tank in the trunk as, as I get going. Um, there's a baffle in, in the gas tank. It's, if someone really believes that you're going to hear the sloshing of the gas over that six-cylinder monster out front, I think you're sadly, sadly mistaken. Um, I really feel like I am doing what the car is telling me to do to get it done. And when you look underneath this car, you're not going to see no sloppy gas tank. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to case this in. That's my, I guess that's my rant, not my rant, but my feeling on the situation. Uh, that's my feeling on the situation. I'm just gonna leave that tank back yeah. in there real quick. Me and Jolene had laid the tank down in the back and um, we soon figured out, once it's down in there, it's still in the trunk. <laughs> hey baby, still in the trunk. As we get this out of here, we'll get, as I, as I have this in here, this uh, fuel line 
hookup is going to have to be cut off some because I haven't got that distance to get up to get it out. I can lean it back some and get it up and get it out. And this will have to be cut off to connect to the filler spout. That was a good thing on the on the tank going back and forth. It could, you know, it could, you know, that's eighth plate on 18 gauge. Yes, it could after a while, you know, if I was raunching her up and down or Jolene was raunching her back and forth to town, just as fast as she could go and stopping her and holding to holding on to her, yes, maybe. But if I tack something from there to there and put a little bolt in it, so when I unhook it, it cannot move. She'll she'll be fine as kind. The gas tank, um, I think it's going well. I didn't have enough square tubing to finish the back off. So I'm just going to take some cardboard and uh, I'm going to mark her here in my pocket. And we'll just make some patterns and show you what it's going to look like when we get it closed off. So you know where the trunk is. And that's all it is. We're just going to make some patterns. And it's more, and it's just like, I guess you'd be working on, like on a, on a schooner, you're scribing pieces of material to fit the shape of what you got going on. So I'm just going to keep cutting until it fits, you know. And I'm just, I got this distance back here. I'm looking at that. So this is this, I'm going to take this, almost the same distance off this, you know, sort of. Uh, and I just go from by eye, right? the best we can and then it's that transfer to metal thing oh, that corner's gonna be cut off a little bit that don't fit bad around there though eh huh tickety 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 i'm gonna take and slide this over some Just make some more offer. I want to get it over this way more. So, actually, that's not fitting bad, you know. It's not fitting bad. I don't really want to mess with that a whole lot. I can just add some to it, you know what I mean? I'm just going to go into here like this. Roll that off. What I'm going to do, instead of trying to get it cut and add perfect, I'll cut pieces, tape it to the top, and slide it in so it fits perfect. For me to try to cut this piece of cardboard to fit that perfectly, um, it would take me a long time, you know, to figure it out. I'm close. I'm close. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you. It might be a hell of a looking pattern, but it'll work in the end as I get that slid back in there. Now I can take it back. Slide it in here, right? Make it fit just as tight, tight as possible. Cut it off. Just cut that in the middle. Give me somewhat of a piece. That's a lot easier than me trying to figure it out full, full tilt, is it not? Um, I'm going to need some tape. I need tape, baby. Can I bring that in here? Oh, this car is so small. Wow. Don't, don't mind me. I have one in the fridge, baby. Give it to me. She said, you want something? Well, you want that? I said, I sure do. Ouch. Do you like that? 
got beautiful teeth, though. After I did it, I can see your teeth. <laughs> if that tells anybody your impression. <laughs> that looked like it hurt, didn't it? Yeah. I'm just going to cut that a little tighter. I think this is easier than trying to make it fit. Perfect, if you know what I'm trying to say. I really do. Making the hard one first, aren't I? Huh? I'm gonna go get another piece of cardboard. Did I rant too long? A little while yet? Huh? Fine. Okay, good. Just talking it over. We had, we had to talk it over, you know what I mean? It's, it's good conversation and it's good, it's all good stuff. It's just, um, I, do, I, do, I do not want to be held back by I'm spending more time on something that I feel like it, you know, is not necessary, I guess. It's a guess. I like to do it a lot. Hopefully, we will not cut this out of, cut this out of, I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to tell you why, because I don't want to spend all day trying to figure it out, I'll rather shove, shove it in there the best I can, and then I'll shove another piece on the end in there to make it work afterwards, it does not matter, it's not fitting, trying to get up here yet. You see how I'm just going to add that on there? I'm just going to add that on there like that, right? A lot easier making a pattern this way than trying to figure it out completely right on the money, you know? I'd rather get on with it. some pieces in the corner way down in the corner I might have to get in later on before I cut it out of metal I'm just making some pieces right now I might have to lay them in there then I might have to go up and lay in this way and make the pieces fit up and tight that way so I'm not going to do that but I'm going to do this right now I'm going to pull this off in front of your face your front of your very face and uh, cut that line off fits. Don't like that. You're my batter, bird. Oh, jeez. Delicate stuff. You know what I'm trying to say, baby. Delicate stuff. Don't tore, tore that piece off. No. You know what? Get a piece of tape, see it? And a piece of tape to the back side. Damn it. Hard work. Now you know what interior guys feel like. Huh? Working inside of a shoe. You wouldn't know until you're in here, would you? I'm just finding out now. Piece of tape on. Ah, do I have tape left? Come on, B. 
baby. Okay. All right. I'll just lock her up in there because that's how it goes. He's fell underneath there. He's holding up on me. Okay, so we're... See, I can go underneath there now and see where that hits. But I'm not going to do it right this second because there's no need of it. So I've got that on there. i got that one there. So that's going to be shelved off. Are you able to pass me a piece of wood, sweetheart? Oh, yeah. Please and thank you. I know it's hard to run the camera and help me too, but... She does it. So, we have the piece of wood. This is Jeff's piece of wood. He cut this out of one plank. This is uh, mahogany. And there, there, well, that's what the window trim will look like so we know Jeff doesn't panic. <laughs> Probably thinking, oh my God, what's he doing? Anyways, that's gonna close off there and it's gonna close off right around to the back, right to the back. And I'll, I will get underneath there and put that in there as we go because I can see from underneath. I'm gonna make a piece for there, make a piece for there, and then we'll make a door and we'll say no more. That goes there all the time. All right. So I'm just going to put this on here. Just kind of draw it straight there. Just guessing. This is fun stuff when you get to you get to do this. Just do a little guessing. And it doesn't matter if you guess wrong. Just add a little tape, add a little more to it. That goes on there like so. Oh, that doesn't go in there yet, so. I'm just gonna take and go like this first. Just gotta go in there a little bit more. Uh, she's looking pretty good. In here a little bit more. It's like Sunday school. I'm oh, gonna uh, take this. that off like that and we will weld that on just like we did this just like we did that and then it'll be seam sealed and this will be carpeted most like that's what it's, isn't it baby in a carpet I think it's carpeted mm -hmm. ah my rib and so that's how far we're off on that side so we need to do a little jig and rigging on that one and a little difference on that one then we got the pattern so that pattern doesn't go there I don't want it to sit there so as I do that, you can see how we're going to sheathe that in. When the door closes, the gas tank will be in the trunk. And, the, you know, the car, is, the car is more show than go. This is a art project, probably for the Bugattis. Just exact same it is for me. It's an art project. Um, um, everything is fitting so tight and so right. It's, it's great. But I really feel this is the easiest way for me to put the gas tank in the trunk. Um, I like the idea of it moving, so I will put a brace on the top so it cannot move. I will make sure it does not leak. And that's about, about the end of it, I guess. Uh, all this will be cut out of metal and tacked in there. That's going to look really nice. I need more square tubing to make the door. We'll latch it here, hinge it there. Seats will have to come out to get in there. Uh, like, I asked, like I asked Jolene, what? Do you want to get in there for 
And if you could, yeah, if you could, what could you want to get in there for? And where you can't, unless you take the seats out, the only time you'll be getting in there is when you're in the garage, uh, you're tearing the interior out of it, and you want to find out what the problem is, you know? Now, as you go on to the front, it's another, another good thing. Me and Jolene played with the radiator. Um, if Jolene wants to come take a look at it, and I'll just talk, and you can, the people at home can see what's going on there. My rack and pinion that I've got bolted to the cross member going across the front um, is in the way from the radiator coming up and sitting in nicely. The square uh, angle iron that's going across in the front, tying it together, laying on the frame. Um, that might be an obstacle. That piece does not have to be there. That was a piece to keep the front end straight and tacked together as I was making it. So we might do a little video, maybe, maybe, I don't know, tomorrow the next day. No, tomorrow we're going away to look at cars with Doug. John's going. And we're going to go look at some fancy cars. We're going to have some fun and get inspired. I will come home and work on this one. You better not have a gas tank in the trunk. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to, I'm going to move. And what I'm going to do is going to drop that rack and pinion that's just tacked there right now with a bolt, two bolts on either side and a mount. I'm going to pull that radiator up through and get it fitting the best it can. And I think I might even try to make mounts for it because it's looking pretty good. So as I do that, that means I'm going to have to move the rack. And when I come, when I come down here, when I come down here and look at this rack, if I take the, the, the radiator and put it where the rack is, and then sort of move the rack out where the radiator is, it will not hurt me that much because my, you know, my arm's right here and it, my steering's right there. So instead of having it point it back a little bit, I'm gonna have the, the, probably the rack right in the, the right spot and have the radiator in front of that. We might have to do that. So that's the way it is. So I had quite a, com <laughs> me and Joey had quite a conversation about the gas tank and uh, it's a three hour gas tank. I'm proud of it. It made me work hard. I overcame it. And you know what? I showed you the truth, what, how, what it takes, you know? Sometimes it doesn't go just bing, bang, boom. I pulled up the package, I put it in in front of your eyes. So if someone says, man, I had a hard time putting the gas gauge, well, you'll see how, just like I, I did. I wasn't paying attention when I pumped my first holes in and it just went downhill from there. You know what I mean? I, I was guessing to where, where the holes were. I should not have done that. I should have wiped it off, made sure that I started it nice and fresh, had all the holes where they're supposed to be. Should have threw the little screws away and went with my self-tappers and been done with it. Um, little stainless steel screws that they sent to me, I'd have to run over there and get the right drill. I have to get the right tap because they're a fine thread. I have to drill and tap every hole. I did not want to do that. Time, time. And that's why I'm going with the, with the gas tank right there is the time to make it, and does it satisfy, does it do the exact same thing as any other car? And yes, it will. Have a great day, everybody. I'm gonna. <laughs>